hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome and please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll know when i upload new videos today uh, i am going to talk about stormy steel i know i stopped reviewing love and marriage huntsville but we need to discuss stormy steel and her being sued by her former coo kyle i forgot his last name sorry y'all uh, her former C coo and just her character overall um I think the problem that Stormy has is a problem that a lot of black business owners have. So a lot of times there are successful black businesses that still fail. And the reason why that is, is because they have so much overhead, they're overspending and they don't set up their businesses properly. Uh, I did attend business school. I don't think I'm an expert, but I learned some valuable lessons while attending and the biggest lesson that I learned was that most businesses fail due to management. And that's the honest to goodness truth. Whether it's a corporation, a small business, an entrepreneur, whatever it is, most businesses really fail due to management, poor management. They might have the customers, they may be popular, they may be making money. But if you're not managing that business properly, it's going to fail. And I think that resonates with relationships as well. Friendships, marriages, and I'm driving, so sorry if I stop, if I'm looking away. That goes for marriages, friendships, work relationships. If you're not managing your relationship and or your business, it's going to fail. You cannot just be there. You, you have to be more than be present, if that makes sense to you guys. So, number one, what was the number one thing we saw when it came to Stormy and her disloyalty? Mel did everything she could to bring her on the show. And what did Stormy do? She turns around, allows her mother, her own mother, to disparage Mel, to uh, bash Mel, etc. And I'm not saying I'm um, caping for Mel. I, I am a fan of Mel. I'm not a mellow meter because I'm not a super fan of anyone. However, um, I think I think Mel gets a lot of slack due to um, most of the ladies on the show are jealous of her. And I'm not the type of woman that as soon as somebody doesn't like another woman, I say jealous, jealous, jealous. I'm really not. However, I do think a lot of those women are envious and jealous of Mel. The envy is that they think her success should be theirs. They're like, why her? Why, why is she getting all this success? And I'm telling y'all, a lot of times with friends and family, when they see you with a successful marriage and beautiful children and a career and you seem to have it all and you get divorced and you lose those businesses, then they want you to be sitting on the floor in the corner crying. And the moment you're not, they're confused like, dang, how does she keep winning? How does she keep picking herself up? That's the same thing Martell feels about her. I believe that's the same thing Tisha feels about her. And Kimmy, even though Kimmy is silent most of the time, she's kind of sneaky. Stormy, all of them, they, they, I, in my opinion, they thought that Mel would need them more than she actually did. Like, oh, okay, well, she getting a divorce. She gonna need us now. No, because she's strong enough mentally, physically, whatever. She was strong enough to pull herself up by her bootstraps and get it together. And that doesn't sit well with people a lot of times. I will tell you, um, when I got divorced from my uh, ex-husband, I lost so many friends. I lost so many friends. One of my friends, um, her husband wouldn't let her hang out with me anymore. It's like married people shouldn't hang out with single people, although I was the same Lori that I had always been. And it's not like, you know, I was asking her to go to the strip club or something with me or go join dating sites. Like, you can still go to brunch whether you're married or single. I don't, I don't understand that. Uh, which is one reason I do honestly love my husband because he never tries to control anything I do, who I talk to, where I go. Wherever, if I say I'm going to the moon, he'll be like, oh, okay, baby, be safe. He ain't gonna question it. We good. <laughs> so anyway, I digress. Stormy was very disloyal to Mel and she thought Mel would put up with it. And I think a lot of people think that Mel is this pushover and the moment that she says no and puts her foot down and not accept you know disrespect then she's the mean girl and i don't think that's really fair to her okay going back to stormy we, we all saw she was disloyal and just to backtrack a little bit um one of the mimosas with mel i attended and i met stormy and she seemed so humble um she was so grateful that you know mel brought her out she talked about all of these mentorship programs she had and things she were doing for things that she were do was doing for young girls and stuff like that 
I never saw any of that. She talked about it um, when I attended the Mimosas of Bell and also met Shanita Foster there. Super humble, very helpful with her advice and things like that. Only thing Stormy did was just talk about herself. That same lame story that she likes to tell. I made it out of one stoplight town and I'm so proud of myself because so many people don't so many people don't make it out. You know, she told that same story. It was it was all about her. Me, 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 me. Shanita Foster, um, and, and I hate to compare, but I'm just saying this was the same event. She did briefly discuss, um, I think she was she is a mom of six or seven children and how she was able to overcome that and and she's single. She I'm not gonna say she's a single mother because I'm not sure if she actually has help with her children, but she is a single woman and telling us, you know, how to create different revenues of money, but she wasn't saying like money is her focus. She was just saying there's so many avenues that you can make money. Anyway, then we move forward. Stormy's on the show. Mel gets Stormy on the show. Which she should be thankful for. Should she uh, sell her her firstborn child? No, I'm not saying that. Um, I'm saying be grateful. Even if you felt like, okay, I don't want to hang out with Mel. I don't think she's a good friend. You don't have to be, you did not have to be disrespectful and allow your mother to be so nasty and disrespectful because Mel never actually did anything to Stormy. She, they're upset because she allowed people to talk about her. Mel cannot control that. Mel cannot control that. You don't see, um, Beyonce coming in the comments like, y'all don't talk. Y'all don't talk about soon. Don't talk about my husband. Don't talk about my child. I mean, they talk, talk about her child like a dog. And I'm not comparing Mel and Beyonce. I'm not. I'm saying, I'm just saying a celebrity lifestyle. Um, she, they talked about Blue Ivy like a dog until she became um, the woman she is, the girl she is now, her hair, her looks, everything. You didn't see her mama coming on uh, in them comments arguing with them people. So I'm trying to understand. I'm very confused why Stormy or her mother thought that Mel should do that for them. And I mean, yeah, she could have, but she wasn't obligated to do so. Um, and that's the point that they're missing. Is What is the point of arguing with the people in the comments? They're still going to feel 